Remember the Beardstown ladies? Well, they're one of the best-known investment clubs. And after picking stocks for more than 30 years, Kate Rogers went to visit the group to see what they make of this market rally. The Beardstown ladies have seen it all, from the stock market soaring in the 1980s to the housing collapse in 2008 and the recession that followed. Through it all, they've continued to meet once a month in Beardstown, Illinois, contributing a modest $25 each for what they call the three E's, education, enjoyment, and earnings. We've been through a lot of ups and downs. We've seen the market go up and we've all smiled at the meetings. When it goes down, we don't get sad, we look for bargains. Right. It's a sale, <laughs> it's like a, a discount sale in a department it's like store. like Friday. You're right, <laughs> let's go shopping. After launching in 1983, the ladies rose to fame in the 1990s, but they fell out of the public eye after a mathematical error inflated their rate of return. They've kept at it, though, with 16 members who today range in age from their early 30s to late 80s mm -hmm. and come from different walks of life. There's a retired oh, hog I'm farmer sorry. and a funeral homeowner in the mix. 75% of our members are descendants of the original club. And we have every age decade represented in our club, which I think is awesome, too. That's called diversification of our portfolio. <laughs> the strategy has always been simple. Buy to hold and invest in things you know, but do your homework. Today, the portfolio has expanded to 17 companies and over $450,000. Berkshire. Yeah. Berkshire. Berkshire B. Berkshire yeah. B. Yeah. We can't afford the A. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We have Apple. We have Starbucks. Aflac. Aflac. And not beyond. Johnson & Johnson. Worldwide Wolverine Shoe Company. You know, ladies love shoes. Aside from investing in what they know, the ladies are also paying close attention to the election of Donald Trump and the market rally that's followed. I was glad he was elected and we watched that market go down one day and it came right back up. We're looking at stocks that perhaps are going to be helped by adding more to the military and defense stocks. And so this is the type of thing we're looking at. To consider buying. Since their return scandal, the ladies won't reveal how their portfolio is performing, but they believe they'll end the year in the green. Aside from that, they're not making any calls about 2017. <laughs> you don't want to make any predictions? No. <laughs> if we did, we would we would not be sitting here. We'd be in Aruba on a beach. <laughs> For Nightly Business Report in Beardstown, Illinois, I'm Kate Rogers.